Now, environmentalists are urging people to recycle Christmas present boxes in wrapping paper rather than send them straight to landfill. Campaigners are saying that people fail to recycle. The estimate is about a third of all cardboard packaging, with a large proportion of that waste generated over the festive period. Well, Joe, tidy. He joins me now from Arundel in uh, West Sussex. And uh, there you are, Joe, with your hard hat on. So uh, what's going on around you? Well, it's very busy here. About 100,000 people are working in the, in the industry over this Christmas period, where most of us are, of course, off with our families and, and uh, enjoying a festive period. But uh, very busy here at the, uh, at the plant. This is one of the largest recycling processing plants in the country, run by uh, Viridor, one of the largest companies. And what we're seeing here is the, uh, is the before. This is all the uh, material that's come in from uh, recycling bins around West Sussex. This uh, big pile you can see behind the... Uh, the cat uh, tipper there, that is just one day. That's all come in today. Now all the material is put into this hopper. There we go. And, uh, and then it comes through this very large machine, this uh, mechanized system of sorting. And uh, lots of uh, conveyor belts run to keep things uh, moving to get out all of the bits that they can recycle, all the bits they can't recycle sift between the, uh, the aluminium cans, the paper, the cardboard, the plastic bottles. And this is the end result. When it comes out the, uh, the end of the machine, it's uh, these big bundles of whatever the material is. So this is, here is, uh, is all aluminium cans, and this will all be recycled. If there are, say, 100 aluminium cans in there, uh, it'll, there could be, they could be turned into almost 100 cans at the end. So a lot of this stuff is so efficient now, it works really, really well. And this machine here, is so the art that they can process all this stuff in less than about half an hour by the time it comes in and goes all the way out the end. Russ Tuffin, you, you're the uh, plant manager here, aren't you? Busy time of the year for you? Yes, this is a very busy time. Um, we see our input coming up about 15% uh, on the annual figures, so uh, it makes it very busy for us. We have to put on uh, extra shifts to cope with the volume that we're receiving at this time of year. So what happens to the things like this? You've got all the aluminium here, the, these big stacks. How much money will you get for them and, and where do they go? Yeah, um, this could be shipped internationally or perhaps down uh, to South Wales where we know they, they have a processing plant there. One of these bales weighs in the region of 600 kilograms and aluminium price roughly on the market at the moment is about £800 per tonne. So you have to gross that weight up a little bit to get your tonne, but about £800 uh, per tonne for aluminium. And we can see behind you here the massive pile of cardboard. Uh, we're seeing a, a, a big shift in the amount of cardboard that's come in, aren't we, because of the changing yeah, shopping habits? I, mean, I think this reflects uh, people's shopping habit now, that we're, you know, we're looking at online shopping. It's all delivered in cardboard, the typical packaging now that we're seeing. Uh, and in December and January in particular, we see uh, an uplift of, cargo, uh, of, of cardboard. Uh, is this something that you've noticed more in the last couple of years? I mean, you're holding here, yeah, well, this is a typical thing, isn't it? Without advertising who's there, it's <laughs> obvious how a lot of us are now getting our Christmas presents uh, with great delight. We start to see the cardboard rise in December and all through January into early February we see a lot more. Um, obviously wrapping paper we see a lot of. Um, paper wrapping paper we can still recycle. Um, and the way we look at it is if you can do the scrunch test and it stays scrunched, that's good for recycling. So that's a good one, that's then, if, if, it, one. if it springs out that again. That metal film or plastic film in it, we can't recycle it. Um, but we would like to see this stuff that, 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 that's passed the scrunch test. All right, well, thank you very much for talking to us. As well as we want to see more of this stuff, the right stuff, getting through these recycling plants. By 2020, the government's got a target of recycling 50% of all materials that can be recycled. And at the moment, there are different areas in the country doing well and different areas doing badly. For example, some counties in Wales are up to 60%, whereas there are some inner city uh, councils that are more like 20%, 30%. So people here are saying we're never going to reach that target unless the system is, uh, is made universal across the country and people make a big effort to recycle things, especially at Christmas time. Joe, tidy by name, tidy by nature. Thank you.